Hi there, I'm Jen, this is Remembered Reads, and this is going to be a vlog of reading that I did while I've been in Calgary over the past week or so. It is currently uh, Thanksgiving here, which is a holiday, so things were closed, but the Tim Hortons was not closed, which is the most essential thing. Now, about half of what I read while I was away and the more substantial pieces of work that I read while I was away were all covered in my Disability Readathon wrap-up, which I will link to below. But in addition to those, I also read a few other things, most of which were short-form pieces. The first thing that I picked up in the airport was James Baldwin's Dark Days. This is a short collection of three essays, all of which touch on race relations in the United States in the 60s and 70s, primarily. So if you want to think about how that conversation has really not changed nearly as much as you would expect it to have changed over the past 50 years. They are definitely interesting things to read from that perspective, but I think if you have read others of his essays or other collections of his work before, it's not particularly revelatory because it is a lot of the same stuff. But if, it's, if you're looking for a starting point with him outside of his novels, I think that's a perfectly good one. The next thing that I read was a short story by Leila Sabar, the name of which is escaping me now, but it, I will put it on the screen because I remember that I took video of this. It is a story about a Vietnamese officer in the French military in the 1950s who then goes to Algeria where he falls in love with a woman, but his big dilemma is him looking for his mother and sister, and it ends with him in Paris basically unendingly looking for them. It is a very short, short story, even by short story standards. So I almost thought there was too much going on in it. I'm pretty sure that this will be collected in a longer form by the same publisher. I don't believe that this is available in English yet. Next up, I read another short story and that was N.K. Jemisin's Emergency Skin. This is a piece of speculative fiction about, about an earth in which other planets had been colonized by the rich and many centuries later members of the underclass from those planets are sent to earth on a mission and this is the story of one of them arriving on earth discovering that he's been lied to by the upper class in his society i thought it was a very engaging story and i wish it had been a novel because i would have loved to have read even more about both the colonial society and and the, the society that had developed on earth I followed that one up by reading another single essay, and that was The List by Jade Chang. This is part of the The One collection that if you have a, a Kindle and a Prime membership, I believe they are free, which is why I picked it up. And this is part of the same series. I talked about one of Jacqueline Woodson's entries in this series in which authors are invited to think about their love lives. In this one, Jade Chang talks about friends of hers who made the list, which is kind of a law of attraction type thing in terms of dating, which I think is awful. I hate that law of attraction stuff. And she talks about the pros and cons and how many of her friends have done it, essentially. I wasn't super impressed by it, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> but this is also the kind of thing where there isn't a lot you can do with that. I think it, it's a piece that would be fun as a chapter in a bigger memoir. I don't know that on its own it was that great, but I mean, it was entertaining enough, so I'm not really complaining. Another one that I finished was an audiobook, which was Phoebe Robinson's You Can't Touch My Hair and Other Things I Still Have to Explain. And the audiobook is read by the author. This is a collection that is mostly memoir bits with some social commentary. And honestly, I think it was too long for this type of material. This audiobook, I believe, was just under 10 hours. In general, this style of writing from other authors tends to be between five and six hours. This definitely got tedious. Now I'm not very good at listening to audiobooks when I'm doing anything other than walking the dog and I did listen to probably the first seven or so hours of this while outside walk but I listened to the final chunk of this after I had finished all the short pieces on the plane and at that point I just could not pay attention to it anymore. The final chapter of this is essentially letters that the author wrote to her niece and it's a nice enough idea but it's so repetitive. So the bits of this that were very good were very good, and she is very funny in parts, but it just was too long for what it was. So I think I would have enjoyed it if it was about, say, two-thirds of the length that it is now. And then on the way home, I read Cheryl Strayed's Wild, From Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail, which is the author's memoir of doing a not-complete through-hike, but 
three month long hike, starting not at the Mexican border, but further north, skipping the Sierra Nevadas, in which she basically deals with her mother's death, her recent divorce, and a growing fondness for heroin in 1994 by hiking this trail solo. The hiking bits I just loved. I thought that was fantastic. I love outdoorsy type stories generally and I was very entertained by how she took this on being really ill prepared and did real damage to herself by doing that. I found that really entertaining to be with her on that journey but the going into her backstory with her family were interesting although I wasn't nearly as engaged with that and the drug stuff I just didn't care about. I'm generally not interested in hearing people talk about drug use so those parts I could have done without. Still, the hiking stuff was wonderful. I had a couple people on Instagram ask if it compares to the movie and I haven't seen the movie, but I will maybe try to check that out. Something bookish was happening in Calgary while I was there, and that is WordFest. WordFest is a very lengthy literary event that runs at venues across Calgary. There are things like the literary death match, there are Q&As with various authors. The event kicked off on Thanksgiving Monday with a free family event that I went to with my sister and my nephew. The event was dragon themed and they had uh, a couple of people working a giant dragon puppet, which my nephew was actually terrified of, but it was uh, impressively detailed. They had a Dragon Age hunt in the Memorial Park Library, which is uh, one of the older libraries in Calgary. And the, the big deal was that they had children's comic book author and artist, Alan. It is to create characters, you know. I'm an artist and since I'm nine years old, my first comic book, I did it at nine years old. And since that age, I just had a passion to create designing dragon caricatures based on what the kids in the audience were requesting and also sharing with the kids how they can develop their artistic skills. He has a couple of different series. His most famous one is called Jean Le Bon in English and Le Jean Jean in French. It's also a cartoon on the CBC now. So this is a, it's a pretty well-known series of comics for kids. And a lot of the kids in the audience really enjoyed that. He tells them about how he created this character when he was about eight years old. And so he's telling the kids who are presumably around that age. So he was telling the kids, you know, they should start drawing now because who knows what they'll create, which I thought was a great message. And then from there, the event branches out. There were all kinds of other events for both kids and regular literary festival type events for adults. My sister and I intended to go to the literary death match, but we uh, didn't make it to that. There was a free event with Richard Van Camp talking about his latest uh, collection of short stories, Moccasin Square Gardens. So I popped into that and did manage to get a uh, postcard. <laughs> We'd hoped to make it to the literary death match, but it ended up being too late at night and uh, didn't have a chance for that. But I, in any case, I was glad to be in town while that event was running. In any case, that was a summary of my trip. That's it for now. Ciao.